Welcome back to Kirby Squeak Squad, sparing Waddle Dee. So last time we took on World 3, um, the boss is pretty difficult, but here we're going into Jam Jungle. I made a mistake last time at the end of the last video. I called it Jungle Jam. But anyway, we're going to head in. And already some Waddle Dees. They really love the jungle for some reason. And we'll be taking Sir Kibble. Right, the goal will be to hit this little button down here to move the blocks. If I can get it to work. But you can see the gimmick. Use the cutter to cut through the leaves. Luckily there's no Waddle Dees in here. Come on. There you go. Okay, and here we're about to find one of the most adorable mid-bosses ever, Box Boxer. And we'll take his throwing ability, or fighter rather. Although I use it mostly for the power-up anyway. Really good in Kirby Fighters too. And we'll just cut up here. Careful we don't hit any Waddle Dees, Falling Hothead. So here we have another puzzle of Laser Bubble like we did in the other world with the angled floors. Not now, Waddle Doo. Yeah, an interesting way to get you to use the ability the right way. We break through. Cool. Another big boy down there. And shoot chip. And it's easier to fall down anyway. So now they want us to use Hothead and burn through the grass. I think there are some Waddle Dees in here, but this is the one we mostly want because it contains a blue chest. And where there's a blue chest, there is Doc. But we can escape him pretty easily in this level. Yeah, one of the easier Doc levels. Back to the scary music. But at least we have Bun's adorable face. And we'll have to take the high road through these blocks not to hit Waddle Dee. Yeah, just a lot of them everywhere in the jungle. Maybe they were native to the jungle, who knows. big metaloon, if we remember from the previous episode, or one of them rather, uh, we definitely don't want his ability. I think it was World 2 we first met his um, heavy ability. And I mess up royally here. Crawling in the jungle. We have these fire blocks again, but this time we're going to need one to get a chest. So close. It's taunting us. There you go. But we have some Myga appearing. Now I can never remember if it's him or Parara you can't inhale. I'm pretty sure it's Myga because there's a gimmick with him in World 8 with Golden Waddle D. And we have Spinny this time. An important chest to get too. But we can hit her off the platform and grab the chest. Easy enough. I don't think she's going to come back either. Not really sure. I'm not going to stay around to figure it out. 
Yeah, so once again, those chests that glow contain a star piece, which we need to get into World 7. So now we have the awesome music again. Better than the creepy music. And when we have this, it means boulders. The jungle really loves its boulders. And while waiting, I'm going to teabag with Kirby. Um, fun fact, I used to do that way before it was like a thing in Ultimate. I like doing it back in like Melee Brawl because the noise effect Kirby would make, that squishy sound, I love it. So I'd always like teabag with him way, way before teabagging was even a thing. Of course, I just called it the Kirby Squish. Here's the level where we'll have to know where to go. I actually had to do this level a few times. I did mess up the path in a practice run. But there we want to take the top door and kill Scarfy. And we already have some big boys. Careful not to exhale here right into that Waddle D. And also careful not to break these bomb blocks. We don't want to summon Heavy Knight on us. And another instance of which path. This time we want to go left. Yeah, I think it took me like two or three tries on this level. I just kept guessing wrong in practice. One where you could very, very easily have to redo. And we have a dark fire room. Whatever you want to call it. Lit. Not that it really matters. We can see their silhouettes pretty easily. They aren't even silhouettes. They don't even go dark. But with less barrel, we should have the chest. And a wheelie room with Doc again. But here it's safe to use wheelie. No waddle dees running about. Easy. Now we just have to escape. Bye, Doc. And I think that's the other half of a heart. More health. Okay, so now the factory. An interesting thing here, if you absorb Sparky, the sparks carry across the floor in this place. It's a really weird gimmick, but we're going to try not to use his ability because it could potentially hit Waddle D. Yeah, they just travel all throughout these floors. And this one, of course, does have a golden wall D, so this is the one area where we will not be getting all the chests, so we'll have to come back here later. And even though those look cuttable, they aren't. Actually, they are, but it doesn't fall, so they really aren't. And there's that awful ability again. I think the gimmick here is to just grab it and fall down this area, but I'd rather just cut my way through. I think that Snooter ate me in practice, or maybe it was that one. Okay, and here's why a Golden Waddle Dee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's definitely this green thing here, Myga, I think he's called. Um, whenever you try and inhale him, it'll stick to you, which is why they put him near Golden Waddle Dee. And he's gone. Another Waddle Dee spared, but at the cost of a chest. So off to fight a really interesting mid boss here, Babu. I don't know if he appears in any other game. Um, but he's here. I think because he gives off the bubble ability, and that's not something you see too often in Kirby. Now it's more so just been replaced by water. But we don't really need him here. What we really need is Hothead. And not you, Chip. Yeah, fire is quite the theme for the jungle here. It's really helping me get through. And chest. And hey, they're nice enough to give us a bubble anyway, but we don't need it. 
we thought ahead, and let's just get rid of one of these little life bubbles. Now we have to go down. This place can also get confusing. You may have to play this level a couple times, too. I'm pretty sure I had to. I can never find my way around this factory. Usually. Some news. A wheel. And I think up there it takes you to a Mr. Frosty, but we don't want to fight him. We want to grab the chest. And summon... Storo. But Storo and Fire, it's a great combination. Slowly dying. <laughs> Okay, good. Yeah, only two chests that time. And a key. Right, so World 4 will not be sparkling like the rest, but we did open the extra level. Now this might actually be the easiest level in the game, um, aside from that one back in World 1, but not quite because we have to go ex um, do some exploring up here. There's a lot more to it than it seems, but we will be coming back here towards the end of the level, interestingly enough. It kind of circles around, I guess. And some rock puzzles. I guess the jungle is all about traps. These boulders everywhere. And we definitely don't want Parasol because the theme of this room is to fall fast. And not in that direction because Parasol D is there. And we want to grab that chest before that little door closes. Okay, so here's an area that made me reset World 4 a couple of times. So we're going to get rid of our ability. And we do have a fire ability we picked up earlier. So this big boy right here is in this very narrow corridor. Yeah, he's pretty easy to kill. But he could just slip through that little notch I created in the blocks, and we'll have to wait for him to come over. Now, if Kirby falls on top of him from a far enough distance, he can kill him, but we just have to sneak by. And this could also be tricky because I did get stuck here. Um, I did not have any ability, like this fire bubble here, because you need something to cut through these pillars and hit that block. So yeah, this is a really tricky area if you're not prepared. At least when you don't want to kill Waddle Dee. And more boulders. Let's not go on Pengy's side. So we have a button which summons a blue chest, and a blue chest which summons... Spinny. And Squeakers. And the gimmick of this is, I think, to trap Spinny in the rocks. And then this area should spit us back out at the initial area. Right, back down here to where we started. Easy enough. And off to World 5. Level 5. Almost World 5. And this one is a bit of a gimmick too. It's one of these fast moving puzzles. First we want Ninja. Um, metal might actually work too here, but I prefer Ninja obviously. And Spark is just an extra. So what we want to do... Hit this block, trigger the switch to hit the chest, and we want to down air just all the way here until we get to this little pit. And we also want to drop ability because if I don't, Kirby will cling to the walls and it'll just be slower getting down here. And I did get this in the first take, thankfully. But we missed food, but that's not important.
Because we're off to fight the boss, and unlike the last boss of World 3, this one is a cakewalk. Okay, so here they have the incredibly broken tornado ability. Um, it appeared in World 3 when we fought Cracko, but here we're going to fight something else. This thing piloted by Doc, I believe his name is Yado Gain. Um, bit of a weird name, but anyway, we can clearly see that Doc is piloting it here. And this is why Tornado is broken. Krako could have been this easy, um, but not with Waddle D. Luckily, Waddle D is not being spit out here, and he's dead. Not even a second phase or anything. Pretty funny how World 3 was a lot more difficult of a boss fight than World 4. Like I said back then, I think World 3 is the only one to do that, except for like the final boss, maybe. And we have World 5 unlocked. I will see you for then.